Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and it's our second video on collecting like terms in algebra. So what I'd like you to be able to do at the end of this is simplify an algebraic expression by collecting like terms. But I'll just show you the slight difference between this and the first video. In the first video uh, we were collecting like terms in the, in the following. So we'd say we've got 1x and we take away 2x. So that leaves us... Um, with a negative x and we had uh, 3y plus 3y and we add another 4y so we have a uh, plus 7y. So that's what we're doing in the first video. In the second video it's almost identical but we're introducing more complex uh, algebraic terms like x squared, numbers and x's so different um, different algebraic uh, terms here. Now the key idea here is that when we're doing our highlighting, an x squared collects with x squared. If you have 1x squared here and you add 2x squared you get 3x squared. They don't collect with x's. x's collect with x's. So here 3x add 4x would be 7x. And lastly numbers collect together with themselves as well. So the answer in this case would have been identical to, well, we'd have had 3x squared, we'd have had plus 7x's, and we'd have plus 1. So that's the big idea here. Don't try and combine x squared with x's or numbers. Okay, keep these all separate in their separate parts. Okay, let's do a few examples. For us to simplify the following, x squared plus x squared plus x squared. Well, we have x squared, we add an x squared, we add another x squared, and you should realise that that would therefore give us 3x squared. So this is identical to 3x squared. The next one. So remember what I said before, x squareds are separate from x's and are separate from numbers. So we have an x squared here. Make sure you buy highlighters for the exam, it makes it much easier. 2x squared and a 3x squared. We've got three x's and we've got another three x's and we've got plus five and plus three. And when you've done it like that, it's absolutely clear what the answer is going to be. So we've got an x squared, two x squared is three x squared and another three x squared would give us six x squared plus three x add three x is six x and five <coughs> add three is eight. So you can see how quickly you can do it once you've done your highlighting. Example three. Now here, you'll notice, hopefully, that we've got x cubes. And they're obviously different to x squareds and x's and numbers, let's say. So that's there are x cubes. We've got three x squared here. Add two x squared. Add another three x squared. And we've got a five x subtract a 3x. Once it's highlighted like this, your job is extremely straightforward. 1x squared add 3x, uh, sorry, 1x cubed add 3x cubed is 4x cubed. 3x squared add 2x squared is 5x squared. And another 3x squared is equal to 6x squared. And 5x take away 3x is equal to 2x. Simple as that. Another one here. So we've got a mixture here of actually p cubes, q squareds, and p qs. And actually we've got some numbers thrown in. So there's, there's one, two, three, four different things going on here. So let's highlight those four different things. So firstly we've got p cubes. One of them there, and three of them here. Then we've got ourselves q squared. So we've got three of them there another three of them there. Then we've got ourselves 5pq here, take away 3pq there, and lastly we've got ourselves a plus 3 and a take away 5. Once highlighted like that, your job becomes straightforward. This is identical to 1pq uh, cubed plus 3p cubed is 4p cubed, 3q squared plus 3q squared is obviously 6q squared, uh, we can let's do the PQ next just for keep the algebra first and the number term at the end. 
5 PQ take away 3 PQ is obviously 2 PQ and 3 take away 5 is negative 2 or subtract 2. So that's our answer. I'd like you to try these 10 questions now. In 10 seconds I'll show you the answer. And the answers are as follows. I've tried to highlight as well as we go along. So we have 11x squared, 3y squared, 2y squared plus 4y, 9ab, 6a squared, because you'll notice here the 3ab, uh, subtract 3ab gives you nothing. And then up here we had negative xy, 4x squared plus 2x plus 10, 4x squared, subtract 2x plus 4, 12p squared, subtract pq, subtract 1, and lastly we had ourselves uh, 2x cubed plus 4x squared, subtract 12. Just notice I wrote the x cubed first, it's, it's usually better practice to write the highest x power first and go down the x powers to the number. Now that's all we've got for this video, that's everything you need on collecting like terms. Thanks very much for watching.